are you guys doing? Another day heading out on a ride. It's December already. It's still riding. The riding season still goes on. And uh, right now I'm heading uh, towards Bracks Creek uh, in Alberta. Uh, to be more specific towards uh, McLean Creek, uh, that's where most of the off-roading happens uh, in the warmer months, even right now probably guys are riding the quads and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to just to check it out um, because we want to go and pick up a Christmas tree on Saturday with the family, so I'll take my truck down there and uh, we will cut out a tree for Christmas. It looks like a beautiful day in December. That's, uh, that's almost unheard of. Uh, we're looking at 14 degrees right now. So that doesn't feel even like winter. Uh, most of the snow, as you see, is gone. And um, I have my drone with me. So once I get closer to the ground land, I will fly the drone and I will take some hopefully nice footage there. Another thing what I want to talk about is um, why I don't like the new soft pannier bags that I just purchased uh, from Beaumont. Uh, even though uh, they are amazing quality and um, this is the first time that I packed up my, all my stuff into those panniers. Uh, before I bought them, uh, it was actually a lot of snow and cold. Uh, so that was just when we got the first dump of snow. Uh, so I haven't had a chance to use them, except I made a review um, about the quality of them and benefits. So today, after, after packing everything, what I find out uh, that I do not like the way uh, everything packs in there. This is not the same as you would pack into those uh, hard, hard panniers. Uh, the hard panniers are, you can get nicely organized and uh, everything stays nice and, uh, and uh, nicely arranged. And uh, here, um, especially I, my panniers, those uh, Bumot Extremada, oh, they came with the dry bag inserts. So I will try later maybe to remove the inserts and use the other inserts that I used uh, on my uh, hard panniers. Uh, those are the fabric ones. Those um, dry bag inserts, they are quite hard and they don't form to the shape of the pannier. After packing everything, even though the volume of them is very, very similar to the ones, uh, to the Bumo Defenders, uh, everything is kind of uh, sticking up higher than uh, what I would have had in, um, in my hard panniers. I think that's due to the width of those uh, panniers because they are not as wide as the defenders. After packing everything, I don't know, I get kind of mixed feelings about it. Um, I know they're better because they are lighter that's a big benefit uh, why they win but at the same time it's kind of everything kind of floating in there and that drives me nuts i have an ocd i guess and uh, i like everything to be perfect that doesn't happen with those bags and uh, in order to look for something you have to dig through that uh, big insert uh, that comes from top that you have to dive into that bag and flip through your stuff but I gotta say they are excellent quality, very durable, very very hard uh, finish from the Kodura fabric uh, uh, on the outside. I wish they were kind of molded on the inside a little bit more than they are right now. So uh, I will try to remove those dry bags uh, and go without it. But even that it, it says that uh, they should be still waterproof even without those uh, dry bags. The dry bags are just additional protection. So I will give that a shot and see how that goes. And uh, maybe I'll make another uh, vlog or video and I'll keep you posted how that goes. Uh, I'm heading down. Uh, I have another 30 kilometers to go uh, before I hit the Brax Creeks and uh, McLean Creek. Uh, that's where the Crown Land is. Uh, and I will start looking for a tree and maybe I'll hit some, uh, depends how much snow there is in the mountains, 
I might hit um, the little trail uh, on the way back home. So I'll be riding for again for a few hours today. So yeah, I'm still sitting at home. I got another week and a half to go uh, to stay before I return to work. And I'm taking any any possible moment uh, or what the weather is permitting uh, to go for a spin. Uh, last weekend, uh, I took my family out to, uh, to the mountains to see the Grotto Canyon. Uh, that's just a little bit east uh, from uh, Kenmore, Alberta. Uh, there's a nice little hike or trail, however you want to call it. It's called the Grotto Canyon and it leads you to uh, Bat's Cave and there is a couple waterfalls on the way in. And uh, we were on that hike uh, previously uh, during the summer or warmer days. This time we went out uh, because we wanted to see that during the winter uh, when uh, there's some ice on the waterfall and uh, then we were ever lucky. Uh, it really looked uh, beautiful. The frozen waterfalls, they had uh, amazing uh, views. So me and my buddy, he has two daughters, I have one daughter. Uh, we went out and uh, we did that hike in the later afternoon. Couldn't make out there in the morning, so we decided to go uh, later afternoon. And it was so worth it as uh, the beauty was uh, just amazing. Uh, I will include some uh, shots uh, from uh, either photos or some footage from the area in this video. And there we go, we're slowing down to 40 kilometers per hour. There's a freaking truck again, always. And I can't pass them as soon as I get a break, I'll just zoom through. Yeah, it's getting a bit cooler here, um, just like what, ten, not even 10 minutes further and I dropped uh, 7 degrees, it was plus 14 and uh, only 7 degrees right now. Pretty soon there will be a Kananaskis country. the entrance to McLean Creek. Oh, there's snow here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit any trails. I'm gonna try to do 180. Done! Look for another road. How are you doing? Good, good. Do you know which section here is the Crown Land? Which one is the park? What side is uh, Crown Land? Which side is uh, park? Pardon? You know?
So I found a little off-road section. Let's see how far it will get here. That road leads uh, towards Ice Cave that we did a hike also a while ago here. Ah, oh, they closed it, son of a guns. Time to go home. It's a nice day. Enjoying it a lot. Having a blast here in the snow. I practiced a couple things here, but I dropped the bike. That's nothing new. When you experiment, shit happens. But how, that's how you learn. If you don't, don't fall, you don't learn. spectacular day I really really enjoyed this ride perfect weather couldn't ask for better it's not cold it's just perfect I managed to practice sliding on a snow or ice wiped out now I'll be heading home I'm not the only one on a bike if you like the video hit the thumbs up if you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down twice and check out my other content, other vlogs, tutorials and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't so and share it and see you next time in the next video. Cheers for now. Take care.